nectar. Nobody mourns. Nobody tends flowers. In fact, nobody goes there except to dump another wreck. But these battered, rusty monuments to our recklessness say more about bad driving practices than all the casts and amputations and widows of the careless drivers. They don't heal. They won't go away. They just accumulate as tragic debris, reminders of mistakes drivers make. Everyone else. 
Another thing the pros, most of them know, is how to park safely. They see their spot and start slowing down. Of course they're in the proper lane to begin with. They signal the stop and give the guy behind a chance to break. Then the good pros pause. If the traffic behind them wants to hold along, they can. And when it's clear behind, the good driver backs into the space as quickly as he can. Oh, it takes practice. But all good pros practice. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say about half of the wrecks in here come from accidents at intersections. That's where most of the trouble seems to happen. But the good pros, the ones who stay out of here, don't take anything for granted. They try to see into every cross street. If they can't see, maybe a hundred feet up the other street, you can be sure they've got one foot covering the brake. They're ready for someone to come zipping out from behind that wall. Otherwise, I'd get another customer. You know, you'd think that intersections that were four way stops would be as safe as could be. <laughs> but I got a couple of wrecks in here that prove it ain't so. That one did a rolling stop. That guy over there didn't wait for his turn. A pro has to protect himself, and the best way is to make eye contact with all other vehicles at the intersection. Make sure he sees you, make sure he knows you see him, then make your move when you see he is stopped with his brakes on and he's waiting for you. Here's an easy mistake to make, kind of embarrassing, but the only thing to do is to stay put. Don't back up, because people are already adjusting to your mistake. Just sweat it out and remember to be more alert at stoplights. Did you ever notice how many wrecks got it from the right <coughs> front? Well, I got a theory about it. Left turns. Ever see a guy pull into an intersection and turn his front wheels to the left while he's waiting? Often without his foot on the brake? Well, what happens if he gets hit from the rear? He's shoved right into the oncoming traffic and I've got another customer. The pros don't turn their wheels while they're waiting for the chance to make a left. They keep the wheels straight. When they can move, then they turn their wheels, and they move like they mean it, no hesitation. A professional driver is expected to protect pedestrians too. It seems it's mostly old people and the very young that cause most of the trouble. Old people get confused in traffic. You never know which way they're going to go. Don't blast them with a horn. That only turns confusion into panic. The best thing to do is hold back until they make up their minds. And the kids, they dart off from nowhere, especially from between parked cars. Kids move fast and are often hard to see, so the only defense you have is anticipate them and be ready. And kids aren't all that's hard to see. Look at this little guy. Small cars can move so fast you never know when one of them's going to try to squeeze past when you have to swing wide for a button hook right turn. When you're turning right in the city, check your right mirror, then close off that right lane before you start your turn. Never forget, give a small car or a motorcycle a little room, and they may try to take it. Like I said, I'm not crazy about this job. I wish I never had to open that gate. And I probably wouldn't have to open it that often if drivers would just remember the rules. Keep a complete picture of traffic all around. Pick your lane and stay in. Move with the traffic. Signal to change lanes. Wait for an opening and then move like you mean it. Treat parked cars like vehicles getting ready to move. Watch out for pedestrians. Be alert for stops, because traffic in the city is more often stopped than go. Well, sounds like somebody else made a mistake. Looks like a rear-ender to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know them all. I've been there. Once too often. That's mine over there. <laughs>